Madison, are you ready for your first holiday? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Coco, where are we going? To Dubai. <laughs> That's right guys, this is our first ever family holiday to Dubai. Coco, you're on a camel! We are so excited. But it's also our first time travelling with five kids, which can be stressful. Look, she's just on her phone. Especially for Sarah. So that we could leave as quickly as possible, me and Grace came up with what we thought was the most efficient way to get the luggage into the taxi. Okay, you ready Grace? Oh. Catch it! Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> So, okay, I thought this would make a funny clip of me sleeping in the taxi, but it was kind of awkward because I had to explain to the taxi driver what I was doing. Yeah, they're filming in the other car and uh, we're just doing like a little joke because I always fall asleep, so we're making a joke about my wife's in there looking after the kids and then I'm sleeping in here. <laughs> and even after that explanation, I'm not really sure he quite understood what I was doing, but I think we picked up a new subscriber. It's all good. Okay, so we've got Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> These two share one brain cell between them, okay? No one was more excited for this holiday than Coco, and she already had big, big plans for as soon as we got there. We're at the airport, guys. The airport, and what are we going to do now? Have some lunch, and then when it's that we have to go to bed, and then when we're gonna play some water, and we're gonna go in a lazy river, aren't we, guys? Yeah, we are. The best thing about travelling with Sarah is that she's just so calm and relaxed. Come quickly, no, Casey, the gate is open now. So yeah, got her. Got yeah. Grace, 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 off your phone now. Look, she's just on her phone. So at this point, I could see Sarah was pretty stressed. So I decided to step into dad mode and tell Casey to get off her phone. Get off your phone, Casey. But it turns out that actually I was the main problem and not Casey. I can't do it all on my own. Okay? It's stressful. Please. Okay. So why are you still standing there? What do you want me to do? The buggy has to be collapsed. Everyone needs a bag. Okay. This has to be collapsed. No, no, you need to carry your bag. Coco, okay, look, that's our plane over there, look. It's big, isn't it? Ow! <laughs> Hiya. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Okay. So this part was actually really stressful. It took us about 20 minutes just to get sat down. Can I sit here next to me? Is there anything you need down here? Sit here. No! That's not my time! Oh my gosh, that was a nightmare. Everyone else, we got on like literally last. Everyone else is really settled. Then there's us that comes in, like eight of us, all our bags, the buggy. It's like, oh my gosh. Do you need like a mask or to have food or drink? Me the whole time. <laughs> We've got Grace. Holly, Sophie, Casey, Madison, Mummy, Coco, and me. Here we go, we're taking off. And just as we were taking off, I just had this really bad feeling that I had forgotten something. Coco, I think we forgot something. <laughs> Madison just slept through the whole takeoff, which is what I would have done if I could. You, you could have. You use on your phone. No, you would have woke me up. For what reason? Just because you don't like me nothing. I don't think you like people sleeping. I don't think you like people sleeping. <laughs> I have one day a week in the school week where I get to have a lay in. I want you to do three money and seven. Yeah. I said this before, people in our house do not respect people who are sleeping. And of course I was right because as soon as I was asleep, this is what they were doing to me. Like I said, no respect for people who are sleeping. And guys, if you're gonna wake me up, then please do it with a full tray of food. <laughs> because then I'm happy. It wasn't just my sleep that was being interrupted. My in-flight entertainment was being constantly interrupted by this super annoying passenger next to me. Bad luck. Oh yeah. Bad luck again. Oh yeah. Bad luck. Oh, okay. That's good. Then I'm watching this. Yeah, and I'm I'm trying to watch this. So I kindly asked the air hostess if I could switch seats with somebody, but apparently, because that's my child, I have to stay in the seat next to her. 
I'm editing, just because believe it or not, I actually am a YouTuber, even though I hardly ever post. So I've decided to edit a video in my free time instead of going to sleep. That is dedication. What can I say? Casey is the definition of dedication and she edited that video for I don't even know how long. Actually I do. It was two and a half minutes before she fell asleep. But her nap didn't last that long and the first thing she decided to do when she woke up from a nap was to show me her new nail design. And I thought that was pretty cool. Okay. 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 You're dipping your bread into your chocolate. Is it nice? Yeah. Coco, okay. you need to go um, sleep. I can't go sleep. I can't sleep because in the night, Dizzy wakes me up. When this movie finishes, then what? Bedtime. It means we're going to get off the... Airplane! Yeah. DVD fan. Quiet oh. second, okay? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Casey, Holly, don't talk or Sophie. <laughs> they're not. Okay, yeah, they're not talking. I can't do it because Sophie wakes me up in the dark. Good night, Coco. You sleep. It's like Christmas. Yeah, because all That's the lights. I was just thinking, I was going to say, it reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> We're holding a pillow so it doesn't reflect on the window. Kogo stayed away the whole flight and now she wants to sleep. Madison's asleep. Sophie is very eager to get off the plane. Okay. Holly, will you be okay? It's quite heavy. Grace, if you take. Coco's backpack. Well, then it's just you hold one and Dad can hold one. You've got your backpack. Yeah, I can't hold any. Yeah. So after 12 hours of traveling, we were finally in Dubai and the Atlantis Hotel kindly sent us these two really cool vans to come and pick us up. Okay, I'll see you guys there. See you soon. Bye. The lady here, who took us from the airport to the car, she called me tall. And I'm sure. That's because she was like three foot. She thought Sophie was okay, tall. Okay, don't take it away from me. She thought Chloe she was tall. She called me <laughs> so we arrived at the Atlantis Hotel and Grace could not contain her excitement and the first thing they did when we got there was give us this map of the hotel and I can see why we need a map because this place is huge. <laughs> wow! This is amazing! There's a bath! In the bedroom, sort of. <laughs> Cool. Oh. oh my god, can I? Wow. You know, that's the beach. That's Ooh. actually the beach. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Right, is this going to be your bed? Yeah. Okay. The sauce? No, I'm going to sit in the She thinks she's sleeping with them. Yeah, but well, I've already told her she's not. She, no, no, she's not, though. Come, come tonight. Okay. We're going to stay here. So but then we can talk about another day, okay? But tonight, you'll see. Holly has her own room, okay? Just for tonight. So Sophie had a tantrum about the room situation, but it only lasted about three minutes until she was fast asleep and Coco was asleep and then there was Madison. Oh, what are you still doing awake? You need to go sleep. It's bedtime. It's bedtime. Say goodnight. Okay, so the time in Dubai is like six in the morning. What? Was this cute? <laughs> Hey guys! Oh my god! <laughs> so guys, the time in Dubai is at 6 in the morning, so we are going to go to bed. So the next day, we were given a tour of the most expensive suite in the whole of the Atlantis Hotel, and this place was insane. It even has its own private lift entrance. Oh, there's a seat just for Coco! As a princess, um, What's the suite called? The Royal Bridge Suite. And who stayed here? 
Kim Kardashian, and John Legend and Chrissy Teigen, oh, all wow. kinds of people. Yeah, amazing. Such a sweet. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of royalty that come and stay here as well when they, especially oh, in the region. Oh my lord. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Are you serious? This is. Oh we're actually in it. This is it. This is not like. So this is, you know, when you look at Atlantis, you know, there's the two towers, you've got the bridge in the middle. Yeah. yeah. The bridge in the middle. So looking from the outside, you can see that this is the Royal Bridge Suite here. Walking around this place, I think we were all thinking the exact same thing. Imagine hide and seek in here. You'd be lost for days. So this suite consists of three bedrooms with his and her bathrooms, a games room with a bar, a 16 person dining room table, a personal chef, a butler, a security guard, a grand piano, wow, that is just beautiful. And the most amazing panoramic views of the palm. Oh my god. What? Oh my god, it's a hard time. That is not, it's a table and chair. Oh my god, look at that view. And you literally get access to a 24 hour butler if you stay in any of the suites anyway. Yeah. But, um, so there's a, there's like a private kitchen off the back where they make everything that you need and wow. you can have someone like your drinks at your private bar. <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better. This is essentially, it's a mansion in a hotel. No, don't touch baby girl, not them ones. And of course, we were all dying to ask the question. How much is it a night? 30,000 dirhams. What's that starting in pounds? What's that in pounds? 6,000. Yes, that's 6,000. Oh, I thought it'd be way more than that. So maybe we could stay here for like half a night. <laughs> we'll just wake up at three in the morning and get out. <laughs> We're like bringing like, loads of people so we split it. <laughs> yeah, split it. Yeah. 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 Kim Kardashian stayed there. Like she probably played that piano. <laughs> so we knew we'd outstayed our welcome when Sophie decided to do a number two in the master ensuite bathroom and block the toilet. We got out there as fast as we could. What happened? Basically, Sophie needed a toilet, yeah. And so to go out, Sophie, I'm like, don't poop just the way, yeah. And she goes, I was like, are being serious? <laughs> this is a bad one. And then I thought a chain yet. Yeah. Is it still blocked? No. Did you unblock it? Please tell me you unblocked it. <laughs> Mum's like flushing it, but it's not just like a, just like a normal flush. It's like, uh, so you can hear it every time we flush it, we have to flush it about four times. Oh, and God. Thinking, that lady out here is hearing it. Oh. Every single <laughs> time. She did put it on the same toilet as Kim Kardashian, so well done, so. Wait till you see this. This is in our hotel lobby. You ready? Behind you. Whoa! Oh. His name's Ray. Stingray. Yeah. <laughs> so we'd only been in Dubai for less than 24 hours and I already knew that this was going to be one of the most epic family holidays we had ever had. So guys, make sure you subscribe and you have your notification bell on so you know when we post our next Dubai vlog.